Okay, here I got an email the other day, and um, it was just <clears throat> a bank trying to get me to invest into some CDs, and these for short term. And this is really what prompted me to make this video. These are short term CDs, um, which are certificates of deposits. And it was nine months for 4.5%. One year at four point five percent, or fifteen months, uh, which is a little over a year for five percent. So of course I went to the website, and I looked at it, and they also have uh, long term, and that just prompted me to make this video about just the power of continuous compound interest. Okay, so where we take an investment, and our goal is always to get to the point where our money is making money for itself anytime we're looking at um, investments. All right. So here I want to start off with the formulas. Mm -hmm. So we have, and I'm going to look at it. Our formula for continuous compound interest is going to be A is equal to P E raised to the RT. So P is going to be our principal. That's the initial investment, the, the initial amount of money uh, that we place in, whether it's a bank or um, whatever account it is, that's our initial investment. R is going to be our interest rate. So in this case, we're looking at 5%. All right. And then T is the time in years. So I just want to give a few examples just to look at the long-term uh, the benefits of long-term um, investments. Of course, rates go up and down depending on the economy, but we're just going to say we can average 5% over a specific amount of time, just to show you uh, the, the true power of the compounding interest. All right. So first, let's set it up. All right, we're going to start off, and y'all, we're just going to assume $10,000. That's going to be our initial investment. So y'all just say $10,000, okay, times E to the point zero, to the RT, I'm sorry, our rate is going to be 0 0.05, and then our time is going to be one, because it's one year, all right? So now we set that one up, and y'all, we just let our calculator do the work. That's going to be E to the point zero five. Yeah, don't forget the order of operations. Please excuse. So before you multiply these together, make sure you take care of your exponents. Let's put a comma right here. So yeah, e to the point five is going to give you 1.05. And when we multiply this together, yeah, after one year at this particular rate, uh, we will have $10,512.71. So that's a good amount for just a year of investment, especially if we're just letting the money sit still somewhere. So yeah, let's look at this next one. A is equal to 10,000. I want to make sure I have enough space. That's going to be what E raised to the... Point zero five because that's our rate. And then we're going to multiply that times five. That's going to give us 10,000 e to the 2.5, which is 10,000 e to the point. The 0.25, let your calculator do the work. And yeah, depending on how we round it and things like that, that's going to be 12,840 dollars and 25 cents. So we see we've gained almost three thousand, almost three thousand dollars here. Uh let's look at the next one. Let's look at 12%. I mean, I'm sorry, let's look at 5%. Uh, 
over 12 years. So we're still just letting that money sit. Now, remember the power is here, y'all. We're making money, but we haven't added anything to it. So we could be investing somewhere else or we could be just um, making money, still working, working extra hours, doing whatever. But we'll just put this money up and we're just going to forget about it. So that's going to be 10000 E, and that's raised to the 0. 0.6. Now, E raised to the 0. 0.6. Let's see what that's going to give us. I'm doing the CAC. Yeah, I'm doing this uh, with you all as we do it. So E to the 0. 0.6, let's look at it. That's going to be 1.82 and some change. Which is once we multiply that together, we have 18,221 dollars and 19 cents. All right, when we round that. And now y'all for the end, and I hope I have room right here. Let's move it over a little bit. Y'all for the end, we just want to see, okay, let's let we put this in for 20 years and we forgot about it. Now, y'all, this is going to be 0 0.05. Now, y'all, as a disclaimer, it's not easy to average this, but you can. All right. E. Yeah, that's going to be just raised 0 0.05 times 20. That's one. Yeah, that's going to be 10,000 times 2.718. We're rounding this as closely as we can. And in the end, after we multiply all of this together, y'all, over this 20-year period, we are going to have $27,182.82. So now we can really see that power because over 20 years, which is a long time, but believe it or not, the time flies your initial investment has almost tripled just off of the power of compound interest because you get to the point where your money is making money and it's compounding on itself. So now you can just see that difference between one year, five years, 12 years, and 20 years. And like we said, now this is with no um, additional payments, no anything. That's just uh, sitting on the... $10,000 principle. So we can see the power of the continuous compound interest.